Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I'm going to show you about finishing a concrete walkway. And in this case, it's going to be a stamp concrete walkway. And we're using stone textured stamps. So if you hadn't seen part one of this video where we poured the concrete, then I'll have that link at the end of the video. So you can go check it out when you get done watching this one. And you can see how we poured this concrete walk, a concrete sidewalk. And then there's also a front a front sidewalk to this that we stamped I'll have pop up at the end of the video it's a different texture it's an ashlar slate texture so you can go check that out too so whenever we get ready to stamp concrete whether it's a walkway like this or it's a patio you know we always get a mag float the surface we always like Darren's doing up there you can see Darren and like we did out here on this front walkway we always get the surface ready before we start stamping it by mag floating it so and that just helps bring up a little bit better paste it helps fill in any rock holes and stuff like that and gets just makes a little bit better surface so you can put some texture to it so these stone textured stamps i mean i got these stamps from from marshalltown.com and i have a link for them down in the description you can check them out um, these these are really good stamps we really like them there's uh you can get you can get stone textured or slate textured stamps from you know a bunch of different companies we just we like dealing with Marshalltown they're a really good company and they're American made products so we're putting these these uh, stamps down and there's no particular pattern no particular direction you really need to go with these that's what makes these stamps really nice to work with you could put them diagonal you could turn them 90 degrees you could turn them 180 degrees as a matter of fact it's it's a good idea to to rotate them a little bit as you set them down so your your texture looks a little bit different each time each stamp has a little bit different texture to it so they're not they're not exactly repeating themselves on every stamp so that makes it nice and we have you know we have four of these big ones and I got a bunch of smaller ones I don't think we even use the smaller ones on this walkway but right, right now what Luke's doing is he's throwing down some release powder and what that does is it helps keep the stamps from sticking to the concrete number one but as you'll see at the end of the video make sure you hang out to the end you'll see how it leaves like a secondary antiquing type color when we go to wash it and seal it now if you want to learn how to do stamp concrete like this I've got a I've got a, a basic beginners course where I teach you how to do stamp concrete and that's down in the description guys so if you want to add this skill to your to your repertoire if you already do concrete and you want to add stamping that would be a good course for you to get to start learning you know watching videos like this from me and other people who do a lot of stamping that's always good too but I explain it a little more in detail in the course so it, it just helps you he'll learn the process a little bit better so right now what we're doing is we're just moving our way down this walkway you know we're taking each stamp flipping it you know we, we flip the edges we overhang the edges every time we lay one down like I'm doing right there and then before we pick the previous one up you know we flip the edge on it so it's not tucked underneath that's what Luke's doing right there and then we can pick that one up and just keep moving on down the walkway and right now the the walkway is soft enough so all we really need to do is use the weight from our bodies to put the texture in. We don't have to use a, a tamper. And on this walkway, as you can see, we're fighting. We got a little bit of half of it's in the sun and then half of it's in the shade. So it's drying. It's drying at two different rates. The part in the sun is drying a lot faster than the part in the shade. So when we actually did the stamping, we had to get to a certain point right about where we're at. And then we had to give it. A few minutes probably 20 30 minutes before we could do the part in the shade so Darren's over there he's getting that part ready and we actually had to let this part in the shade sit for a little bit longer so he's using what we call a texture roller and he's getting some good texture along the edges up against the board so we don't have to we don't have to step or tamp too hard right next to the very edge of the concrete it's already got texture on it with that roller and that roller is really handy for for doing edging doing touch-ups doing around columns posts pipes so I you know if you do stamping and you don't have a texture roller I'd highly recommend getting one of those 
you can look down in the description. I'll have a link for one of those also. So we're change the angle of the camera a little bit, get you a little bit closer. And hey, if, if you like this kind of video, if you like concrete videos, go ahead down there and smash that like button. It really helps me out with, uh, with YouTube and the algorithm and ranking my videos higher so more people can see them. I'd really appreciate it. And if you if you this is your first video watching me, you know, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. We specialize in all types of concrete flat work, stamping one, being one of them, you know, floors, slabs, pool decks, patios, all kinds of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, I come out with a couple videos a week. Go ahead down there and hit that red subscribe button, then hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when my next video comes out. So we're, we're moving on down. We're getting towards the end of the walkway. This walkway was about 40, 45 feet long. It's about four feet wide. We used a 4,000 PSI concrete on it with fiber mesh. And it also had a mat of rebar tied in it that was, that was up on bricks. That's all in the pouring video. You'll see here pop up at the end. And we, in Maine, you know, we generally always use a 4,000 PSI concrete for exterior. It's just it just holds up better with our freeze and thaw cycles, you know. It start we start getting freezing weather here right around the end of November, and then up through all the way up through April. So, our exterior concrete really go through a lot of freezing and thawing. You can see how we picked those up, and then I just rotated it 180 degrees, and now I'm setting it back down and. Luke had a really little one, a 2x2 two two stamp there he was using for some touch-up. And he's going to flip that stamp now. We're both wearing masks today, me and Luke. You can see we we got our masks on. Um, there's been some, I got some previous videos where we're not wearing a mask. And I'll tell you what, lately the masks have been hard to find. So these are our old masks. I can't even find the cartridges for them, so because of what's been going on, but we're dealing with the dust the best we can. We definitely don't like breathing that dust. You can see that big vein in that stamp I'm holding up. It's got some really good texture to it. This this particular stamp we do a lot of. It's a really popular stamp, you know, without any grout lines, just the texture of the stone itself. When we get done washing it and sealing it, it's a really good looking stamped walkway you can see the patio in the back we did that previously probably a couple weeks ago we did that patio for for this same guy and it's this that one has the same texture as we're doing right now and that one came out really nice you'll see here at the end i'm going to show you us washing it what the texture looks like when it's when it's being washed so you'll get to check that out and then the ceiling part i'll have that in the course if you want to see and learn what we use to seal it with and how we seal it and when we seal it you know that's all in the stamp concrete course so you can you can learn about that in there we're getting down there at the very end what we do with these stamps to clean them after is we just we pressure wash them we use some dawn dish detergent we'll scrub them pressure wash them get them all nice and clean ready for the next job and that way we'll work always working with clean stamps that powder gets it really sticks to them really good you got to scrub them really good to get it off so the timing on this was very was very good for us we didn't have to pound the concrete with a tamper we could just use the weight of our body and I've got some special finishing shoes that are really flat sold that we're using to tamp in the texture um, we, we always use those when we stamp so we don't leave any heel marks or divots into the concrete that will go right through the stamp in case you get on a soft spot. So those, those stamping shoes I've had in previous videos and I'll have a link for those down there also. And that's how we finish up that part. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we start washing on the, on the concrete and cleaning that powder off. So this is the next day we come back and we start washing the powder off. And you can kind of see what, what the concrete looks like underneath that powder. The color of the concrete, which was, we put a dark gray in it. 
most of that color will come back and show and then the powdered release you can see stays like down in the deeper parts and leaves a antiquing effect which makes it look really cool so when we seal it it looks wet like this well thanks for watching guys i appreciate it make sure you hit subscribe and, and come back and watch my next video thank you